Hello my friends, today we're going to be doing one of my favorite videos to film which is going to be an RMS slash luxury Q&A. You guys know the drill by now, these are the videos where I address all your RMS questions, dilemmas and of course we have to bust a couple of RMS myths here and there. I love filming these videos because these give me the chance to touch on topics that I know for a fact that you guys are interested in. So without further ado, if you'd like to hear what I have to say about anything and everything RMS and what topics you guys want to talk about, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. Before we get into all your incredible questions, which I screenshotted all of them and we have pages and pages and pages of questions to get to. So if you send me a question, just know that I appreciate you. But before we get into answering them, this is a disclaimer that I always make. Obviously I do not work for RMS, I never have. I am just one of your friends who loves RMS as much as you do. So all of my answers will be based on my thoughts and my firsthand experience. But just look at this as a chat with one of your friends. So I'm not the B.O. and end all of RMS and neither are my answers. I have not had a chance to go through all of your questions. So as always, I'm just going to start picking random questions. And we have one right here, which says, do you think the RMS leather strap with pouch is worth it? Have you tried it? So I assume that this question refers to that thick leather strap that came with a Kelly pocket pouch on it, which initially launched, I think it launched it must have been at least a couple of years now, but it is a strap that is still very much around. Personally, it's a strap that I don't dislike. I love the look and the idea of it, but I don't love when people style that strap with a mini Kelly. I just think it's way too wide to go with the mini Kelly. It's almost as wide as the bag itself, not to mention that the pouch is quite large, especially in comparison to the mini Kelly. For me, that is not the most flattering look. There's just a lot going on if you end up putting it on a mini Kelly. But if you have a Kelly 25, a Kelly 28, a Kelly 32, even a 35, I think it is a really, really cool look. Is it something that I would spend my money on? I don't know if I would because it is quite expensive. If I remember correctly, the strap is, I think it's $2,075. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's the price for it, or at least that was the price at one point. And I'm not sure if I would spend that much money on a strap. I would personally much rather put that money towards a Kelly Pocket or a Kelly Wallet, which I have several videos on both of those pieces. It is a cute piece if you like it, if you see it and it's available, definitely pick it up. But it's not something that I would personally go out of my way to get my hands on. Will small bags ever be easy to get again? I feel like only big bags are easily available now, which it's a great question, but to be honest with you, I don't even think that big bags are that easy to get at this point. There definitely was a point in time, shortly after the madness of 2020, when big bags, they had in access, but I definitely don't think that that's the case still, especially now that more people are going back to work, more people are traveling. I think that there is definitely a need for larger bags at this point. I actually saw this article a couple of days ago that talked about how the search word tote bags and how to search for larger bags on Google has been trending and how much it increased by in the past few months. So if I can find the article, I'll make sure to link it down below for you. I definitely think that larger bags are coming back into trend or even if they are never going to be the biggest trend, there are going to be people out there who will have the need for a larger bag or at least a bag that is able to fit your phone. So I'm not exactly sure about smaller bags. I do think that there's going to be a point in time when we'll look back at ourselves and we'll think that we were insane for spending this kind of money on these tiny creations. But personally, I don't see small bags going anywhere, but I think they can live harmoniously with larger bags. Now, if you ask me, I do think that the Mini Kelly will be discontinued at one point, and I do not want to start any rumors I have mentioned this before that I have a hunch that they will probably discontinue the Mini Kelly at one point down the line. It's not going to be today or tomorrow, but it was launched as a limited edition piece initially back in 2015, but they just kept producing more and more of it. So I'm not saying that it's getting discontinued anytime soon, but I would say that if you 
are looking to add a mini cloud to your collection, try to do it sooner rather than later. And I completely understand that it's not that easy, but if you're going back and forth between a Birkin 25 or a Kelly 25 and a mini Kelly, perhaps opt for a mini Kelly before it's too late. Again, I don't want to start any rumors. This is just a hunch that I personally have, but I think with larger bags becoming more and more popular, hopefully at one point, it will be easier for you to get your hands on a small bag, but I don't think that it's ever going to be as easy as it used to be in the past. Another small bag related question, which is will you ever get a Birkin 25, especially after owning a Kelly 25, which is a great question. I do actually owe you guys an update on the Kelly 25, which I can give you now. Long story short, it's not a bag that I feel really works for me. It just simply doesn't work with my proportions, which is a suspicion that I had had before buying that bag. But I'm completely certain at this point that it's not a bag that I can personally enjoy on a regular basis. It's still a beautiful bag that I love looking at, but it's just not one that I can personally enjoy. I tried styling it in different ways. I tried to make it work, but it doesn't really work for me. And the Kelly 25 actually comes with a strap, which I thought would make it easier for me, but it honestly didn't make that big of a difference. Purely the proportions of a 25 bag just doesn't suit me. And when it comes to Birkin 25, it would probably be even worse on me personally, because the only way for you to carry it is by the top handles, which are extremely, extremely small. I guess I could carry it as a pochette or as a clutch bag, but I think it will get really, really tiring after a while to carry such a wide bag in my hand. It might look cute for a picture, but in real life, I don't know if I could do that. So I don't see any Birkin 25s in my future. Now, if I was ever offered an extremely rare or a really special piece, I would probably consider it, but it's not something that I would ever see myself putting in a wish for. Opinion on the Picatinny Cargo, which I think it's officially called the Picatinny Lock Pocket, I think they call it, but you are completely right. It is the exact same idea as the Birkin Cargo, which you may remember, I didn't love. I feel like that the Birkin bag is already such a perfect design that it doesn't need to be re tweaked. It doesn't need any additional pockets. It doesn't really need anything added to it because it will just look overdone. I think it is a really fine balance when it comes to a Birkin. It has all these incredibly delicate and beautifully elaborate details that adding a pocket on it or a cup holder in the case of the cargo Birkin just makes it feel like an arts and crafts project rather than a luxurious piece. So for me, on a Birkin, the idea didn't work. But when it comes to the Picatin, I actually quite like the design. I think because the Picatin is such a simple design to begin with that it can really take all these fun details and elements. So the Picatin pocket or the Picatin cargo is made of canvas and it's made of a special type of canvas that is extremely, extremely hard wearing, which I think they call the Goland canvas. It comes in a handful of different colors. So if you love the idea of it, there are a few different colors that you can choose from. And then it is finished and reinforced with Swift. And it has a couple of pockets on the outside, but the overall layout and the idea is the same as it is for the Picatin 18. So personally, I love the idea of it. It's definitely not a bag that I would personally add to my collection, but the couple of times that I've seen it in person, I always appreciated it from the far. And in case you're wondering about the price, I think there is about a 500 euro difference between the Picatin Cargo 18 and then the original Picatin in leather with the cargo bag obviously being slightly more expensive. Best way to store Hermes bags, which is a topic that I do have a couple of dedicated videos on, but what's most important in my opinion is that you remove everything from your bag. So anything that you have in your bag, you take out. If you use the clochette or the lock on your bag, if your bag has a chain, you take all of that off or you try to wrap it in something so it doesn't touch the leather and it's not resting on it. You definitely want to stuff your bag. You don't want to overstuff it, but you want to support it from the inside out. So you can use towels, you can use bubble wrap, which is what Hermes uses, or you can of course use your insert or 
even tissue paper just make sure that it's not dyed so it's a natural tissue paper it doesn't have any dyes that could seep into your bag and it could mark the lining and then you probably want to keep your bag in its original dust bag if you don't have the dust bag if you didn't get one with your bag because you bought it pre-loved or if you lost yours you can always go back to RMS and see if they have an extra dust bag that they can give you or you can use a clean undyed and untreated pillowcase you could use sheets if you have any old sheets lying around which i don't know how luxurious that would feel but it's something that you could do but i would definitely do something just to protect the bag from any sort of dust and unwanted exposure to sunlight because that can really really damage your leather long term so these are some of the tips that i would have for you but if you'd like a more in-depth video on how i store my bags I'll make sure to have that link down below. The next question is, would it be possible to have a pre-loved SLG restored by Hermes? Big hugs. Thank you, I'm sending you a lot of virtual hugs as well. But when it comes to SLGs, yes, pretty much anything can be restored by Hermes. I have asked about my Kelly Wallet in box and they said that I could drop it off if I really wanted to. But I do have to keep in mind that box is so delicate that unless it's really really heavily worn and beaten up there is no point doing anything to it because you can take it back they'll refurbish it and then within a couple of weeks you'll be right back where you started but if you have a piece of SLG that is a little bit more worn and it has seen better days I would definitely suggest that you take it back to RMS depending on where you live it might take a little while for you to get your piece back but it's definitely something that RMS can work on for you do you still own and use the grooming bag yes it's an incredible bag if you've been thinking about the grooming bag i would highly suggest that you add it to your collection as long as you like a larger bag it's something that i have been using for picnics every time you go on a bigger picnic with the baby to the park or if we go on a hike which is not really a hike we're just going to nature that's the bag that I usually take with me because it fits a ton, but it's incredibly lightweight, it's hard wearing, and it's easy to clean. So it is an incredible bag. And if you're looking for a larger tote bag to take to work, to use it for shorter trips, to use as a baby bag, it's impossible to go wrong with the grooming bag. Higher ticket purchases or larger quantity, but small ticket pieces to get a quota bag.